I would like to share with you a fascinating scenario of what our world might look like if Mycenaean Greece never existed. Imagine a world where the first advanced and distinctively Greek civilization in mainland Greece with its palatial states, urban organization, works of art, and writing system never emerged in the late Bronze Age. How would that affect the course of history and the development of cultures and civilizations across the globe? Let me take you on a journey through the continents and show you some possible outcomes of this alternate reality. First, let us start with Europe. Without Mycenaean Greece, there'd be no Trojan War, no Homeric epics, no Greek mythology, no Olympic Games, no classical Greek philosophy, art, literature, science, and democracy. No, the cultural and intellectual legacy of ancient Greece would be lost to humanity. The Mediterranean region would be dominated by other powers, such as the Phoenicians, the Etruscans, the Carthaginians, and the Romans. The latter would still rise to become a mighty empire, but without the influence of Greek culture and learning, Roman civilization would be more militaristic, pragmatic, and conservative, and less open to innovation and diversity. Christianity would still emerge as a major religion, but without the Hellenistic context that shaped its theology and spread, the Roman Empire would still fall eventually, but without the preservation of Greek knowledge by the Byzantines and the Arabs. The Middle Ages would be darker and longer, and the Renaissance would be delayed or diminished. Second, let us move to Asia. Without Mycenaean Greece, there would be no Alexander the Great, no Hellenistic kingdoms, no Greco-Buddhist art and culture. The Persian Empire would not face a formidable rival in the West and would expand its influence over the Near East and Central Asia. The Mauryan Empire in India would not have a close ally in the Seleucid Empire and would face more resistance from the local kingdoms. Buddhism would not spread as widely and rapidly across Asia. It would not encounter Greek philosophy and art. China would not have contact with the Hellenistic world through the Silk Road and would not benefit from the exchange of goods and ideas. The Mongol Empire would not encounter the remnants of Greek civilization in Central Asia and Anatolia. It would not adopt some aspects of their culture. Third, let us turn to Africa. Without Mycenaean Greece, there'd be no Ptolemaic Egypt, no Library of Alexandria, no Cleopatra, no Roman conquest of Egypt. The ancient Egyptian civilization would continue its long history without much interference from foreign powers. It might even regain its independence and glory after the collapse of the Persian Empire. The Nile Valley would remain a center of culture and learning in Africa. The rest of the continent would not be much affected by the absence of Mycenaean Greece as it had little contact with it or its successors. Fourth, fourth let us look at America. Without Mycenaean Greece, there would be no significant change in the history of America before the arrival of Europeans. The indigenous civilizations of America, such as the Maya, the Aztec, the Inca, and others, would develop independently from the world, old world civilizations. They might even achieve higher levels of advancement and complexity without being disrupted by European colonization and diseases. However, without Mycenaean Greece, there might also be less incentive for Europeans to explore and conquer America in the first place. Without the classical Greek heritage that inspired the Renaissance and the Age of Discovery, Europe might not have developed a curiosity and ambition to seek new lands and peoples. Fifth, let us consider Australia. Without Mycenaean Greece, there would be no noticeable difference in the history of Australia before the arrival of Europeans. The indigenous peoples of Australia would continue their ancient way of life without much interaction with other civilizations. However, as with America, without Mycenaean Greece, there might also be less motivation for Europeans to colonize Australia in the modern era. Without the classical Greek influence that shaped Western civilization and culture, Europe might not have developed a sense of superiority and dominion over other con continents. 
As you can see from this brief overview of an alternate history without Mycenae and Greece, the world we live in today would be very different from what we know. We might have lost some of the most valuable contributions to human civilization that came from ancient Greece, but we might also have gained some diversity and richness from other cultures that would have flourished without Greek interference or competition. We might have missed some opportunities for cross-cultural exchange and cooperation that came from Greek expansion and exploration, but we might also have avoided some conflicts and tragedies that resulted from Greek rivalry and aggression. We might have been deprived of some of the most beautiful and inspiring works of art and literature that came from Greek creativity and genius, but we might also have discovered some other forms of expression and beauty that came from other sources and traditions. There is no definitive answer to the question of whether the world would be better or worse without Mycenae and Greece. It is a matter of perspective and preference, of values and judgments, of imagination and speculation. What we can do, however, is to appreciate the complexity and diversity of human history and to recognize the role and impact of each civilization and culture in shaping our collective destiny. We can also learn from the achievements and failures of each historical period and, and apply them to our present and future challenges. We can also celebrate the common humanity that unites us all, despite our differences. Thank you.